bought a box of drills at a car boot sale a few weeks ago and this drill was in it. It's a 21 30 seconds drill. It's been snapped clean off. I don't know how it was snapped but it was snapped off. Most people would throw that away but that's actually a bit of good steel. That taper is actually soft. It doesn't get hard and it starts to go into the drill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that end off, drill it and ream it to take a centre drill. This centre drill is 8mm diameter. It's the one I use all the time. I've got a lot of the most popular size I use. Anyway, I'll drill that, ream it, and that will go into there with a glove screw, which means I've got a, a centre drill already on a most taper just to push into the tailstock and use. I haven't got to start putting it in and out of a drill chuck. You see, the, the drill part is obviously hard, but it gets softer as you come further down, and that bit there should machine all right. Right, we need to make sure the inside of the spindle ball is nice and clean. We're going to most take our sleeve and adapter. Put a clock gauge on the end, see how true it's actually running. I put a clock gauge on there, it's, mo it's, it's actually moving. Maybe a quarter of a thou, it's barely moving. That tells me that's running nice and, nice and true. The inside of the Inside the lathe spindle, the mandrel is not, it's not a fantastic tape at house, it's got one or two score marks in it, uh, but it's acceptable for the sort of accuracy I need for what I do. Right, we'll cut this off, see how hard it is, and so we can drill it and ream it. As you can see, it's, it's not that hard. Really good quality steel as well. You want to keep all your blunt and broken most tape by drills and attachments. I mean that bit of steel there is the same stuff the actual cutting edge of the drill is made from, so obviously you can harden it and temper it. Did break an edge of my rod, see if cutting my fingers on it. Going for a decent depth because the centre drill's, drill's got two edges on it, it's got two ends, 
so you need to go well in so you get a, a decent area of the parallel section of the drill supported. Keep pulling the drill out and look at the cutting line on the end. Go up in stages. This is the last stage, this is a 7.9mm drill, the one that I keep putting the reamer. Just for drilling, holes are going to be reamed here now. Try our centre drill in, we won't quite go in. We put our 8mm reamer in, I let that cool down because it's gone a little bit warm. Right, I've got my 8mm reamer in, with plenty of lubricant on this. Run the lathe a lot slower. Gently feed it in. The reamer's not taking much out just to. Just scraping. That's better. Right in now, so I can drill and count, drill and tap that. Put a grub screw in, it'll hold that nice. I'll just count, I think, the end of it. The very end of the hole. Just enough to break the edge, that's all it needs. It's lovely. It's a nice fit in there. That's still a little bit warm. When it cools down, it'll be a really, a really good fit. Yeah, we'll drill it and tap it. Probably four mil. Centre drill set into there, so when you want to change your drill axis, just a case of straight out, straight in, to see how to unwind your drill chuck. Just saves a bit of time, that's all. Nice little tool, easy to make, like I say. Old, most of our drills, keep them, because this ain't soft, it is machinable, and very, very good quality steel.